I'm Chris Solwecki, director of Vineyard Kids, and this is First Things First. Part of today's Project 345 reading is Deuteronomy 30, verses 1 through 20. Now, the backstory for this passage is that God wants to give the people of Israel the land he had promised Abraham years earlier. So 12 men were chosen to scout out the land, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 22. Even though God had said, this is the land I'm giving to you, 10 of the 12 grumbled and feared. The people are larger and taller than we are. The cities are large and fortified to the heavens. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 28. Now remember, God has made a covenant promise with Israel to give them this land. God is, and always has been, true to his word. But rather than taking God at his word, Israel tried to hedge their collective bets, which led Moses to famously speak to Israel in our text today. Now, the crux to the passage is Deuteronomy 30, verses 15 through 20, and I would encourage you to read all of Deuteronomy 30 on your own. But check this out, verses 19 and 20 with me. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life that you and your offspring may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying his voice, and holding fast to him, for he is your life and length of days that you may dwell in the land of the Lord, swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. Now it's the classic conundrum. Set before you is life and death, good and evil. Now choose. You must choose. In fact, to not choose is to choose, right? Look at verses 19 and 20 again. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life that you and your offspring may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying his voice, and holding fast to him. For he is your life and your length of days, that you may dwell in the land the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, to give them. This is a watershed moment in the history of Israel. Choose life which has already been offered to you by God himself. This land will be a source of life for Israel to grow and become all that God intended. It's not really even a choice. Choose this blessing, which you know is a blessing. Choose a life-sustaining opportunity, which has clearly been promised to you. In this hand, I have enough of everything for you that you'll never have to worry about anything again. I, the Lord your God, am enough. In this hand, nothing. Choose the hand with more than enough. It only makes sense. Perhaps you've been tempted, like me, to outthink God. May I encourage you? It doesn't work. He has his best interests always in mind for you. Well, I'll try, we might say. I'm not making any promises, we may respond. Well, my friend, the great philosopher Yoda in The Empire Strikes Back would say to you, no, try not. Do or do not, there is no try. Sometimes God says, let me give you what I've promised you. Sometimes God says, let me stretch you in brand new ways. Sometimes God says, let me use you for the very purposes for which you were created. Sometimes God says, let me fulfill my word in your life through my son, which in John 10.10 10 says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. God's invitation may be fear-inducing. It may be confidence-stretching. It may be doubt-infusing. It may be all of that and more. But please do not forget, it's God's invitation. And it has been my experience that God won't invite you to what he won't walk with you through. Now let's make this real and on point for you today. Perhaps you have felt the prompting of the Holy Spirit to get involved, to serve, to join a group, to be drawn out of your comfort zone. Perhaps you felt a holy nudge and you've thought to yourself, I don't know about that. Maybe I could try. Remember Yoda, no, try not. Do or do not, there is no, try. Trust that God will only invite you to that which he intends to walk with you through. Trust that he has your best interest always in mind. 
and trust that God wants to use you in this moment to choose life that you and your offspring may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying his voice, holding fast to him. For he is your life and length of days that you may dwell in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. The choice is yours. Choose life by trusting God and let your best life begin. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we just ask now in Jesus' name that when we doubt, when we fear, when we are uncertain that we have enough in us to even try what it is you're asking us to do, may we look back at this watershed moment in Israel's history this moment where they have been given the promised land and all they have to do is step across the Jordan River and seize what has already been promised. And may we have the courage, the boldness to step across the river, to step into the land of promise that you have made available to us and to begin living our best life now. We thank you for the opportunity and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.